Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, if something's bothering you in your relationship, you need to speak up. So how do we work this out? How do we combat this so it doesn't escalate into a bigger problem? Well, the first thing is, do not let things get bigger than they are. If you're feeling your partner is being dismissive with you or saying something that's just really hurting your feelings, the best time to talk to them about this is when you're not in the throes of an argument. You want to sit down with them when you're having a glass of wine or you're out for a walk or something and just say, you know, I just want to talk to you about something. Um, I just really feel sometimes a little bit hurt by, I feel that you're not taking me seriously or you're dismissing my, my point about something. Talk to them about it and just do it with a very nice delivery. A lot of people, when they get to the point where they're angry because they've held it back so long, they, you know, get in there with the pointed fingers and talk about all the stuff that's not happening and, and they're doing wrong, as opposed to saying, this is how I feel when it happens. When we get angry, we're more about the, the other way, about what you're not doing or you're doing wrong. And so the, the trouble here is, it's, it's very salvageable, but we don't take into account how serious the discussion needs to be when this is a continued practice within your, your relationship. As time goes by, it becomes very, very powerful and it becomes super hurtful because we can't believe that our partner that we've been with for these many years is talking to us like that, not validating our feelings, dismissing our viewpoint you need to address it because sometimes people just really don't get it they just don't understand that they've turned into this person or and done this sort of repetitive behavior the same for you would you not want to know if your partner was hurting if you weren't aware that you were being short or snarky with your partner would you not want to know that you don't want to be, ever be scared of being able to say something to your partner. You want to know that you are able to open up and express yourself whenever you want to. And it doesn't have to be an angry message to them. This is the thing I want people to understand. Most of us don't really deal with something until we are angry or mad or totally, totally fed up with the way things are going. Unfortunately, that's a bit too late because now there's so much water under the bridge, so much drama, so much stuff that each person has said that it's hard to repair because the more we have to repeat ourselves over and over and over again about what we don't like or we've left it too long and not talked about it, it becomes such a huge thing to us that it's really, really hard to try and figure out how to make it work because you're kind of past the point now. You've let things go for so long and you've learned how to sort of diffuse it or ignore it or push it aside until one day you don't. One day you can't. And then that's when it becomes sort of end all be all situation. Don't let your relationship get to that point. Always take time to talk to each other and have each other's back. Even if you don't like what your partner's saying to you, if they're repeating something over and over again that's bothering them, if you're one of the lucky ones that your partner's actually talking to you, listen to what they're saying. It bothers them. And same for you, for you if, it, if it's they're saying something to you. Don't keep ignoring it. They're not saying it for no, no reason. They're saying it because there's something about it that's annoying them or bothering them that could cause problems in your relationship in the future. So it's really important to understand that how you deliver this statement is how someone receives the message. So if you get to the point where you're really angry when you throw something out there, that's how they receive it. They receive it that there's there's no nothing that can make it better. You're so angry. It's just the way, the way it's just going to always be that you're never going to understand. Rather than taking time 
telling them something when you're not in the angry state of mind when it happens, let them know what's really important to you and vice versa. How, how do, why are they saying it? Is there something you're doing that's irritating them to make them do this? This is why we talk. This is why we communicate with our partner is to understand the dynamics of everything that's going on. Because if we don't open up and don't relay what we're thinking or what we're feeling, that's when you get blindsided and all of a sudden your relationship is over and you don't even know what's going on. So don't let it get there. Speak up. If you have something to say, talk about it sooner than later. Don't hold it in forever to the point where you just all of a sudden one day say, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I'm gone. Give your partner the option to fix it and give yourself the option to express it because it's super important that you do both. That's why it's called communication. And that's number one in any relationship. And if you don't have that, your, re your relationship is not going to last to the a place you where you want it to be. It's going to fizzle. You should never have to sacrifice who you are to be in a relationship. And this is one of the most important reasons that you take your time when you're first meeting somebody and getting to know them. Make sure you're on the same page with a lot of things you want in your life. Because unfortunately, sometimes we don't do that. And as time goes by and we're having these frustrations in our relationship, it's because we really don't know them the way we thought we did. Always talk to your partner. Never be afraid to open up and be authentic to who you are, what you want, and how, you're, how you are together as a couple. If things have changed, point it out that you've noticed this and how can we get it back to where it was? It's all about just being kind to each other and express yourself as, as nicely as you can to get the message across. So if you're really afraid to talk to your partner, it might be time to rethink your relationship because you should always feel safe and secure in your partnership. You should never have to walk on eggshells or sacrifice who you are to be with anyone. Thanks so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Leave your comments and give a little like here and any show topics you have, please leave them to, for me and I will totally look into it. Thanks so much everyone.